Hey guys, today I wanted to sit down a bit and just talk about my first thoughts on New World. The game has been out now for a few days and I've managed to put in quite a few hours into it already. And with quite a few, I mean two streams that were already 12 hours each. <laughs> I'll cover the first things that caught my attention in the game and my experience so far and as well as comparisons to other MMORPGs and end it with some pros and cons. The first thing that caught my attention in New World was definitely the audio and video. The sound effects in the game, for example when mining or chopping trees, are just extremely satisfying to listen to. They have this sort of very crisp, sharp sound with an echo to them, giving them a very realistic feeling. The world itself also looks amazing with many great views from different cliffs and mountains and having that realistic touch of nature gives it a really cozy feeling as well. I'm currently level 30 in New World with lots of experience put into most of the professions as well. My character itself is a girl with surprisingly buns. I did not expect that hairstyle in the game but yep here we are. <laughs> I know for a lot of people, the queue time has been the biggest obstacle coming into the game. Oh, damn! Damn! <laughs> and I have to say I've been quite lucky with that. I think partly because of my sleep schedule, I've been waking up around 9, 10 a.m. every day, meaning that my queues have been at max perhaps two hours or so. And uh, many times I've even been able to log in almost immediately. Also in my 30, 40 hours, maybe more of streaming this game, I haven't disconnected a single time, which is really nice because disconnecting when there's queues as well, when you're already in the game is not fun at all. There's been one main bug that I've been encountering. And uh, so to give background to it, the way it works in New World is if you're carrying too much weight, your character starts uh, becoming heavy and can't move very fast. And uh, this bug makes it so that your character is still moving quickly, which feels quite convenient for the player, uh, but it looks really bad. So visually it's horrible, <laughs> but gameplay wise, it's quite a convenient bug. When first playing New World, just like any other game that I play, I first wanted to play a caster. So I quickly picked up the fire staff in the ice gauntlet and those are the weapons that I've been playing with the most. Uh, playing around with the different abilities, uh, reading things and just uh, trying to test everything to see how it feels. I've also dumped some experience in the life staff as I find it quite useful to be able to heal in case it's needed for dungeons or wars. So I've made sure that the life staff is also playable for me. In terms of melee weapons, uh, the main one that's caught my attention is the rapier. I find it really satisfying with how um, the actions are very quick and pokey and it also reminds me a little bit of playing a red mage in Final Fantasy. Many people want to compare New World to World of Warcraft and being a World of Warcraft player myself, a lot of people ask me, hey, is this the better uh, World of Warcraft? Is this the new WoW killer? Uh, is this going to last? And honestly, I have to say that the games are very different to me. I can't really directly compare them in any way. Uh, sure, they have the base similarities. They're both MMORPGs. Uh, they both have uh, you know, abilities and spells. Uh, but apart from that, they're played very differently. New World's combat is something that's very unique and different for me. I haven't played any other games that are similar to it. It's, uh, it's direction based, meaning even as a caster, you don't have a target for your spells. You just kind of throw it out and try to aim, which um, my Valorant skills have definitely helped me in that. No, it's on the other, it's on the wrong side of the wall. It's on the wrong side of the wall. Yeah, yeah, oh, she's there. Oh, she's, she's here. So because New World and WoW are quite different, I can imagine that there's people who are enjoying both in the game's downtimes and also perhaps loving one, hating the other uh, in either direction. Uh, it's hard to say because the games are quite different. <laughs> I have been told that New World can be better compared with RuneScape or ESO, but since I don't have experience in those games, I, I can't really comment that. Before we end the video, I wanted to quickly put some pros and cons out there for the game. Uh, the pros, as I mentioned before, are things like the audio and the video at the very top of it. I think it's also a very cozy game, so I'm gonna put that as a pro as well. Another pro that I think could help a lot of people make the decision is that New World is not subscription-based, which means you pay for the game once and then you can play as much as you want, uh, which is quite nice because a lot of MMORPGs 
jrpgs nowadays do have an active subscription cost another pro in the game in my opinion is the no real end game established yet um, it makes me enjoy the journey and leveling skilling and gathering a lot more the cons of the game up there at the very top of course is the queue times it is not fun to not be able to play the game this has been shown in lots of reviews on steam as well where people are really upset that they simply can't play the game so that's definitely up there uh, as a little side note for people who haven't created a character yet i do recommend creating a character on a low pop server um, as new world has promised to offer people free transfers so you could play now without queues and then later on transfer over to your friends the last con i wanted to mention is one of my pros as well i'm putting no real end game here as well in the cons because uh, this could potentially mean that the game becomes boring in the end with not much to do. For some people, I can understand that being a simple deal breaker. I hope that can be edited together. <laughs> well, that about wraps up my comments on the game. If you have played it yourself, feel free to share your experiences in the comments. And also, if you'd like to see more videos on New World, please let me know as well in the comments so I know that uh, these videos are appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!